Hello guys, welcome to your ninth rail tutorial and in this video I'm going to be going over where I left off and basically uh, I gave you guys an overview of what it takes to create a simple application in Rails using the scaffold generate command but now let's see what really happened behind the scene and I'm not going to go into too much detail because some of these things are really advanced and they're not really good for you know explaining it as, as a beginner because you know if this is your first framework then it's not going to make sense so I'm here in the controller here and I'm also going to open the model by default when we created the, the user scaffold it also created a model here called user.rb and if you see here you see the little less than um, le the less than sign and basically what this means is inheritance and we have this user class here that's inheriting from active record base so if you remember that I show you where active record lives well basically we're using all that information and we're putting it in user so we don't really have to do much in here in the model active record basically is going to do all the, all the you know heavy lifting for us so let me show you what this thing called object relational mapping really sort of really is so what it is is like I said it's gonna create sort of this connector but what it really does is it's going to map um, database tables to classes so when I created this table here this table is mapped to this user um, this user model class so this class is mapped to this to this um to this table and it also maps the rows to objects so now this here this rows here are going to be objects and we know from objects that we're able to call attributes and methods from it right so we were able to do like first name dot length now we're able to do that because we we essentially mapped it first name this um this row here to objects and the rows we're gonna um i mean the columns we're going to map them to properties so this here's are all properties so that's basically you know what's really happening behind the scene as far as orm is concerned what active record is doing so if we see here in our controller we have a bunch of actions and I already have my application from the last tutorial so if I go here if I hover over to show I could see in the bottom it says localhost 3000 it's users and then it says the number two so you, you gotta notice that we're not going into we're going into the controller but we're not going into the action show because if we go here show you know we have something else here this is why you see um, scaffold is not such a good idea right now but let's just let's just give you an idea of what's going on so in here if you recall in the NBC pattern what we do is we first go to the controller and then the controller we call back from our our database our model so here we have our model here and in this case it's user the class user since we're using active record we're now able to use objects we're able to treat it as an object and you do it the same way as you do it in Ruby so as you can see here when it says new the action new we have uh, we're saying user new so this class here new so we're creating a new object a new instance of the of the class user and we're setting it to an instance variable called user and that's what's really happening here when we create a new user so as you can see here it says localhost 3000 slash users slash new we're basically you know we created a new instance of the user class and that's what's happening here and when we say something here like show well we already have this user class here right so now we were able to call its properties its methods so user and we separated by dot so user dot find and this here you know I probably need to explain this later on so what it's doing here it's getting actually the 
the URL, um, it's getting the ID actually. So if we go to our database, here I have, okay, let me go to the, to the table. If I open this up, I see here that ID is equal to one, right? So when I see this um, this action show, it's, it's it's saying user, which is the 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 model dot find where we're saying find the ID, the param of ID, right? So it's asking it's gonna find this here, whichever we clicked on. So in this case here, when we say show, you notice that in the bottom it says one. And in the and and in this one it says two because that's the their corresponding ID. That's what this line here is um where is it? This line is doing here. And the way we output them, so let's go to our views here. Remember that instance variables allows us to put them inside our um our views. So let's go to show. And here we have a basic um you know this is in bold first name. So if I click and let's say I click here, this bold first name, and then it's going to get user first name, right? So it's going to get the first name here, which is my name here, obviously, depending on which ID I chose. And then it says last name here. And you could see that it's using the instance variable that we have in, um, in here. So it's the same thing uh, as we discussed in the, in uh, I think in, it was in tutorial six or seven, I think. So we're using the instance variable and we're outputting the here the last name. So this is what this is why it's useful to use Active Record because we now have the smart objects and we could call their properties. So you see here last name, and that's this here, and then we're going to output user dot last name so we're gonna output user which is um the class user the last name well the last name is um well in this case it was it was mine so the last name was was Baron and then the age it's you know it's basically the same thing. If you look down here it says edit and it says back. This here are Ruby on Rails way of outputting link tags. So instead of putting an anchor tag like you do in HTML, we actually use the link to method. And it has several um prop I mean parameters. The first one is what you wanted to say inside. So edit is edit here and back is back here. And then we we follow by the path where we wanted to go. In this case it was the edit user path dot user. So we're gonna edit. We're gonna go to the link where it says in the bottom localhost 3000 users one edit. So we're gonna go into links uh, later on in more detail. But this is basically just an overview of the you know what was going behind the scenes. So the thing just to note is you don't have to worry too much what I said about ORM. Just that you map basically what's happening behind the scenes is the class gets mapped to the to the table and also the the what's it called the rows get up get um get mapped to the objects get mapped to objects that's where we have a smart objects now and columns get mapped to properties that's all there is to it there's nothing really special although if you wanted to write you know that library it would be really difficult so good thing it's written for us by you know a lot of people that are really smart and they spend a lot of time on it because it actually is really difficult if you try to do something like that. So that's all for now. Um, later on, we're going to cover more more things. We're going to do a real application that's going to actually make more sense. This is just an overview. Don't You don't have to understand everything there is to it right now. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. And thank you for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe.